guys, this is Tracy Rage with Sawyer Ford Home, and I am stepping out of my comfort zone today. I don't put my face on camera a whole lot, but I wanted to show you guys my craft room today. And um, I'm really brave today because <laughs> it's uh, our air conditioning is out and it's 90 degrees outside. So I probably look a little glistening. Sorry about that. And we have a window unit that my parents graciously are letting us borrow until we can get the AC fixed, but um, it's super loud. So I had to turn it off to film. So forgive my, um, Low. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys the craft room and I have wanted to do this for a very long time. We've been in the house for three years and um, it's forever evolving and like, you know, I'm forever like changing things up and wanting to add things, but I have reached a point that I really, really love it. And um, there's more that, you know, we're going to eventually do, excuse me, but um, I want to uh, show you what we've got right now. But before I get into the craft room, I just want to say that this whole thing is just like this is such a god thing this has been all of it such a huge answer to prayer and i could have never ever come up with the things that i have here on my own i mean just you'll see as i go through like just so many things in here that it's like wow how did you know i can't believe you know god provided this stuff so um if you followed my blog back when i started like five years ago we were in a different house at the time and it was a much smaller house and all of my crafting was done just on the kitchen table and like my wonderful father-in-law managed to like carve out a section of our kitchen for me and gave me a countertop space and it was like a foot and a half wide and it was it was wonderful to have that but like it filled up like that so fast and it was hard I mean I didn't end up using it very much as a workspace because it was so much storage and like underneath it and anything that I did was on the kitchen table. And so that made it hard because, you know, it all has to go up when it's time for dinner or homework. And it was just hard on the kids. It was hard on my husband. It was hard on me. And so, um, you know, we started praying that God would provide us a house with a craft room for me. And so, you know, we put our house on the market, um, not just for that. I mean, we were outgrowing our house anyway, but that was a big prayer for us when we, um, decided to look so we put our house on the market and that was oh my gosh so many hurdles and like the process on that was just it was a year on the market almost we showed the house 136 times like we had three contracts fall through we found out we had major foundation damage and god just came through like gangbusters and provided excuse me Okay, sorry, gosh, coughing there. Um, anyway, God just came through at Yangbusters and provided us a way to get the foundation fixed and the cell went through and it was awesome. And we found this house, this like amazing house. Like we went through like several, I mean, we ended up having a contract on three different houses and something fell through every time. And the last house that we didn't actually get to con get a put, excuse me, get to put a contract on, but like we were ready to buy and we just got out bed and we were heartbroken. It was so perfect. We were like, this is it. This is the dream house. And honestly, like when we could not get that house, it was at that point in our process, it was so like devastating and defeating because, you know, like I said, we had gone so through so much to sell our house. And, you know, finally it was ready to sell. And so we were like, oh, it's, it's ready to sell. This is the house we're gonna get, but God had other plans. And so we learned, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of faith during that whole process. And it was tough going through all that, but I'm glad we did. I'm so glad we did because we learned to trust God and his timing in ways that we just had never learned before. So anyway, um, not long before, we were supposed to close on the other house we found this house and our realtor love his art is amazing so awesome he probably showed us 50 houses i mean it was crazy and <clears throat> sorry you can hear my my sweet old girl dog uh, licking uh, or drinking water in the background but anyway he showed us um probably 50 houses like i mean for real like and it was there was so much that we needed. I mean, we, we were moving out of our old house because it was too small for us and we did need a craft space and we needed to have a garage and, you know, we wanted to be in a, a school district for the kids that we were good with. And there was just a lot of stuff to, to a lot of boxes to check off. So it kind of like, we found a bunch of houses that it just kind of came down to like, there was not a space for me. And our realtor, like, 
at the end, you know, uh, was just like, guys, like, what are you going to do in this space? Like, what is, I mean, like, I know you want a craft space, but like, you know, and he's not a crafter. So he didn't like, you know, he didn't, he didn't realize, I think that, you know, this was something I was looking to turn into a business. So anyway, but he showed us his house that we're in now. And, um, I was by myself, like it, it was just me, Nick was at work and, uh, you know, me and Matt, a realtor, like we walked in and I was like, Matt, this is it. Like, this is the first house since the one that we didn't get that I, we were so devastated about. This is the first one that I've looked at and been like, I feel like maybe home here. So we went and got my husband to come and look at it and he liked it too. And it had everything and it had four bedrooms and it had a big living room and, you know, like big living room, dining room. And it had this bonus den and um, it was a really good size and you know it would work and so Nick was like this is the house you want let's you know we prayed about it we put an offer in and and an offer that we could afford and it got accepted and it was just hooray we were so excited so we started pretty much um, or I started pretty much right away once we moved in setting up the craft room and <clears throat> excuse me it has certainly evolved sorry it has certainly evolved in the meantime but god has just provided so many awesome things in here that like as i'm looking around guys very little in this craft room have i had to pay for i mean i have just you know so many things that he has provided and it's just i just really want to give him all the glory because it is he has given me this amazing dream and made this come true. And so I am, with that in mind, I'm working really hard on making my blog take off. You know, I, I, I started it five years ago and, you know, was really active on it for a couple of years. But then when we put the house on the market and then when we moved in and then one of our kids got sick and she's fine now, but like it was like a year of like in and out of the hospital and craziness and so, my blog just fell to the wayside and so i had an epiphany um not long ago that god has given me all of these amazing resources all of these like crafting tools and the space to do it in and the time when i'm home during the school year and the kids are not and if i don't make use of these things then i don't deserve them so i don't want that to be the case so i want to honor and glorify him with this and i want to show you guys what i've got going on in here and maybe inspire you guys to um keep your eyes peeled for some really good deals or some maybe even some free resources um because this is not like i could not have dreamed of this space this this is and in fact if you go back and look on my blog i've got posts on my blog um that were you know i think i had one that was called someday a craft room and it was talking about all the things that I wanted in my craft room. And so many of the things on that post are here. Like they're in this room and I, I, I could not have, I could not have imagined it. It was more of like a, you know, crazy wish list that's, you know, never gonna happen, but it did. And so, you know, there are things that I had on that wish list that, you know, have turned out differently here, but just as good. And so it just goes to show you that we don't know God's plan. He always knows better than us. So have faith guys. And if you're crafting on your kitchen table or in a corner of your bedroom, I totally feel you. I have absolutely been there. And um, what's important is that we create where we are and we do it to honor who we are and who we serve. And so, Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, flip the camera on here and I'm going to take you on a little chore and um, we're going to get into kind of what I have everywhere. So um, again, there's some other stuff that, you know, are eventually going to be in here and some things that are going to be moved out of here and I'll explain those as we get to them. But for now, let's take a look. Okay, I'm starting right here at the front door because <laughs> this, is, this is where it starts. Um, and right here at the beginning of the step is not going to stay in my craft room. And that boat shelf right there is going to go in my son's room. We just haven't had a chance to put it up there yet. And this pile of stuff right here is about to go out the door to church camp, or at least most of it is. Um, and so I am the craft coordinator at our church, and so I run the crafts at camp, which is a blast. Loads of fun. So that's where that's going. Okay, so over here, down here. I have, I feel like the lighting's not great here, but um, these are leather scraps in just this three door drawer bin. And then these are some big like watercolor pads and things like that. 
Um, this back here is uh, all my glue gun stuff, and I've got a bunch of little glue guns and stuff in there because um, we do crafting at church and, you know, except for camp and stuff, and so sometimes we need some extras. So I pick them up where I can find them. Um, these back here, um, this is my um, stuff I make for Christmas a lot of times. What I did, well, every year for Christmas. Sorry, let me grab this out of here. Every year for Christmas, I try to do a different um, type of Christmas ornament. So this year, this past year, I did these wood slice ornaments. And I did them, this was my first iteration. So I put names on them, lettered names on them. And so I kind of got all my supplies for that in this little bag here. And these, I want to show you. I love these. <laughs> these are dishwasher silverware racks. And these are the best thing ever for craft storage. Um, this started out because my mom and dad got a new dishwasher and they asked us to haul theirs off for them, their old one. And I said, hey, can I have that basket? That looks really handy. And so she said, sure. And so that started my collection. And you'll see as we go along that I've got more. Um, but I found them at thrift stores. Now they're super expensive. If you like go to Amazon and buy one, they're like $15, $20 a piece. And I'm like, that's, yeah, that's not my budget. So. Um, I have hunted thrift stores. I've had a couple people who have passed theirs on when they've got new dishwashers. So that's that's where they've come from. But you can see they hold a ton. They're meant to hold heavy silverware, so they're they're really sturdy. So anyway, um, here's my big window, and I have the curtains closed because my neighbor's kids are out there playing basketball, and I don't want to film them while uh, without their parents knowing. So. This is a basket of just blank t-shirts for um, heat pressing, things like that. I've got um, some vinyl scraps here. And this under here is um, various wood pieces that um, I use for crafting. Um, this is a big box full of jewelry stuff, uh, beading and wire supplies. There's more beading stuff. And here is my heat press. Um, and I use my heat press all the time and um when i when i well what i've done is i bought some extra teflon sheets and i just wrapped my rubber pad with one and then i have magneted one to the top and i cannot tell you how much faster this makes the process go for um like if you're pressing a whole group of shirts they slide on so easy and it's i don't know it's it's way better but anyway um so the heat press that's the first big thing that um, is in here that such a blessing to me. Uh, my parents actually got this for me for a combination birthday Christmas gift a couple years ago because they wanted to help me um, get started with my business. And I have, had I paid for it, I would have paid for it over and over and over again. So um, it, that that has been like one of the biggest game changers for me as a crafter. Um, this table, let me back up so I can show you. And you're gonna see my like, awful ragged chair that has to be recovered but okay this table this cutting table uh, was just a big wooden desk and uh, my husband Nick found a listing on Craigslist for some free office furniture not long after we'd moved in and um, I think I've probably talked about this on my blog before but I have not on YouTube and so we went, we, he found it on a day that the kids were in school and he happened to be off. And so we were spending the day together and he said, well, let's just go check it out. So we went and we found this, um, huge warehouse full of, excuse me, office furniture that they were just like, it's there for the taking. If you want it, take it. So this big wooden desk was one of them. And so what he has done, let me get that closer again, has he cut a C channel in it so that I can run scissors along it and he mounted this yardstick in it and I kind of have it covered up because I don't at this stage right now use it very much for cutting and um, because eventually it's gonna be my sewing table and something else is gonna be for this table but when it is my sewing table this is gonna be the perfect place just like you go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby and they roll out your fabric and they cut it there so I can do all that my laptop stays here beside my silhouette machine and um, this again has been another game changer it's just a phenomenal thing and um, it was a another situation where God just provided a way for me to get this and and for us to be able to afford it 
and it's just um, it has been huge like I could I cannot tell you how much this having this machine and having this heat press has done um, what a benefit it has been uh, beyond just the fact that um, you know you can make money pressing shirts and and onesies and blankets and all kinds of stuff um, but just being able to like craft like personalized gifts and you know it saves you money in buying that stuff you're able to showcase some of your stuff and also um, I have been able to cut some of my hand lettering and stuff and press that on there and so that's <clears throat> that's been a fairly recent development and I'm loving that so anyway here's my chair it's like stained with like okay when <laughs> my mom like got this chair to thrift store and I needed another chair so she brought it to me and the intention was always to recover it and uh, so we used it to like stand on when we were painting the old house and everything and I have not gotten around to recovering it. And so now maybe that I've put it on YouTube and shown the world, I'll get around to doing it. But under my desk here, I have another big bin. And this is actually two separate units. And there in the bottom, those are mostly embroidery hoops. And I also have silicone molds. And you they're generally for baking, but I usually use them for things like uh, melting crayons in to make like custom shaped crayons. And this right here, is um, craft foam almost exclusively um, and so I use that for a lot of different things I had a YouTube video the other day and made a little canoe out of some of it and then under here I keep my uh, roll of freezer paper for freezer paper stencils and some shipping boxes just some long flat things um, down here I've got a couple of frames and also some of the accessories for my heat press that will do plates and hats and stuff and in here I've got some chalkboards and uh, some extra um, Teflon sheets and this is my chalk. These are the chalkboards that will not fit in my shelving unit that I'm going to show you later. And then, whoops, there we go. And then in here I keep, these are the accessories for my, um, oh gosh, what is it called? It's the, um, Template Studio, the We Are Memory Keepers Template Studio that allows you, it's like the pillow, the envelope punch board and the pillow box punch board and all of that good stuff, except it allows you to make them on like a poster board size scale. So I've got all of my different stuff in there. And this is all stuff that I also got really, really cheap. I found the Template Studio itself on clearance at like, I want to say Ross's maybe, or TJ Maxx, something like that. And then I have picked up all the extra templates and stuff for about seven bucks a piece at Tuesday morning. And Tuesday morning is my best friend. I love that store so much. So, okay. So down here is my pressing pillow for my heat press. And this is just, um, this is a scrapbook, um, like carrying case. It's got some different stencils and stuff in. And that was a thrift store find. Um, in this drawer here in the middle, this is where I keep my, um, there's some vinyl scraps in here, and then there's also um, some of the accessories that I use with the Silhouette machine. I generally use Cricut cutting pads because they're cheaper and they work just as well. And I don't even modify them. I just use them as is. A lot of people like trace over them and cut them, but I've not had any problems using them. But I keep my extra blades in here and um, to uh, burnish the vinyl down on stuff. And this is my... Um, ruler that I use to measure make sure that I've got things centered on t-shirts and in here I have um, this is an extra Teflon sheet and these are my mostly um, sheets of vinyl and I keep them where I have when I've ordered um, P transfer vinyl or regular vinyl um, like from like happy crafters or um, expressions vinyl and it always comes in these big mailer tubes and so I hang on to those and roll them up in there and so the stuff up there there's a uh, like a couple rolls up there but mostly my rolls um, well most of my rolls are in this other drawer but mostly I have sheets that are in there so my rolls I'm gonna open this up down here and I have this this drawer down here and I've got this big Sorry, I've got this big thing that I keep my rolls in. And I want to say this is maybe like a Crayola. I want to say Crayola brand. Um, 
crafting pouch, but I've got two of them and I found them separately at thrift stores. And so I'll zip it back up later, but I've got my little scraps in there and then I keep my rolls in there. So, um, okay. Now down here we have a printer that I have to get a cord for. And this used to hold all of my um, We Are Memory Keepers punch boards, but I have a different place for them now. So there are still some in there that don't fit in my other shelving unit. And this is just a tall, like, drawer unit that I got. It's just got different, like this is wooden letters and then a topiary, um, just some different things that are in here. Um, and I got that at a thrift store. I also got this big thing right here at a thrift store and I have not filled it up yet. This I know goes in a garage, but I kind of had plans that I was going to paint it, but I don't know that I want to go to all that trouble. So for now it's, it's been sitting here empty. So I'm going to figure, figure out what to do with that. So, okay. So up here, this little basket holds all of my mini glue sticks. This is some um, repositional adhesive spray. I have in the past done the re-sticky thing on um, on cutting mats, but it's not uh, something that I recommend, honestly. Like, I haven't had great luck at it. These are a couple things that I'm planning to personalize and press. These are all of my heat tools. Um, the This is... Um, this is the We Are Memory Keepers, and I cannot for the life of me think of what it's called right now, but it's it's uh, like the foil, maybe it's the foil, it's not the foil quill, because that's what goes in your silhouette, but it's the pen that um, you can draw, like basically draw against foil, and it emb embosses the foil on there. And I have got, this is the, uh, this is the Project Life, this is the uh, Diffuse tool, that's what that is. And then that goes with the fuse tool. And this is a wood burning set. This is my heat gun. And then down in there are my tips for my wood burning set. Okay, I want to move on to the bookshelf. And my father in law built this bookshelf. And so it has traveled with us our whole marriage. Super sturdy piece. He is a great carpenter. Really basic piece of it. I am, um, it's perfect for my needs. And um, now I've got a really crowded top up here. Uh, but everything here is stuff that I love and I use. And this, I found this, this unit with the bottles and the, the, the rack I found at a thrift store for really cheap. And so I've filled this with beads alphabetized. This is my beautiful nanny when she was, I think about 15, my grandmother. And these are just some little things that I have um, collected. This, um, I wanna say it's by Erin Floto. Uh, I won this on Instagram. And this deer was a Christmas decoration that I got on Christmas or on clearance after Christmas at Walmart. That uh, you can get them at Hobby Lobby for about $15, but I found it for $1.99, I think. I want to say at the thrift store. I think the heck yes thing was from Target, and I got it, I want to say at Bargain Hat for a dollar. Um, both these little shelves have been either thrift store or Bargain Hat finds. Um, my secret sister got me my little willow tree. A figurine there one year and um, I collect willow tree figures and so um, I need to get all my others I've not found a good place for them since we moved but um, all these little tchotchkes are mostly just things that make me happy and so they're you know just kind of here on display I do have some twine and stuff here these two silver mailboxes one of them holds uh, sewing notions and the other one holds um, little labels like little sticker labels blank sticker labels and back here I need to move it out so you can see it but this is my um, gumball machine that I filled with gumball beads and <clears throat> this is another willow tree I love this one and I found it at the thrift store believe it or not for like three bucks and I was so stoked because you never find those at thrift stores but all of my twine and stuff I have I have put back here in these little um, jars and I just got this wrapped on big jumbo popsicle sticks and let's see my daughter made me the unicorn there and so here i have um this is some jewelry stuff these are note cards and envelopes these are magnets there's bottle caps uh, this is perler bead stuff um these i got on clearance at walmart this year when they did their um valentine's day clearance and so i'm going to personalize those next year um these are just some little um little containers for ink this is full of blank ceramic tiles and this is all of my Sculpey stuff and this is another one of these like awesome deals all of these Martha Stewart molds I found um, at 
a little store we had around here called Hammers, and um, they had them for, I want to say, like, I want to say it was 79 cents a pack, and so I bought all they had and, like, gave them to my friends, and, like, so, and, but we, my kids and I get those out occasionally and play with them, and I have found that you can bake the clay right in them, and it doesn't hurt them. I don't know if that's recommended, but um, that's what we do. So, all of my Sculpey clay is in there. So, um, down here on the second shelf, this is all scrapbook paper, and there's like smaller packs at the end. And guys, I don't scrapbook, and I never really have, but I use scrapbook paper for tons of stuff. And I kind of started my collection back when I worked. I had a desk job at a bank and a cubicle, and it was a phone job. We were customer service, and so we didn't see people. And so there was a lot of time just like, you know, sitting at your desk taking phone calls. So I got into origami at the time, and origami paper is kind of pricey, and it's also kind of boring in a lot of, a lot of ways, and it's not very sturdy. So I started buying scrapbook paper stacks, and I could, you know, get four six by six sheets out of a 12 by 12 sheet. So that kind of started my collection, and it has grown since then. I've had some people who have given me some. Um, Tuesday morning is an amazing place. Um, to get scrapbook paper. Most of those little six by six packs were like $1.99, I think. And then moving down, um, these are my origami books. And then I've got just some other crafting books back there. Um, this big blue thing right here um, was a find at a thrift store. And it was, I want to say it was like $24. And it was cram packed full of creative memory stuff. It was clearly someone who had been a creative memories um, seller and they were you know getting out of the business and packing up their stuff and guys I mean it was probably four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff so I was so excited to find that all kinds of paper punches and templates and like fine liners and adhesives and so um, there were a bunch of scrapbook albums in there so I took that and I divided a lot of that up I have a friend who scrapbooks a lot and so I gave some of that to her and some of it I kept for me and it's been um, a blast finding all that and going through that so on top of that is my um, toolbox tackle box and this has got all of my different jewelry findings in it um, I'm not gonna open it up but it's got I mean head pins and uh, jump rings and earring components and um, there's buttons in some of them uh, there's a whole tray of like mostly just brads and stuff and so some of those are fashioned earrings and some of them I use for paper crafts and on top of that those are just some little journals and stuff that I have there and then back here is this basket full of paper scraps that of different sizes that I have saved for you know off of different projects okay so here are more of my dishwasher baskets and this one has got brushes and stuff in it and my rulers a lot of my Tombow markers a lot of my um, microns back there there's some metallic markers in here these are let's see these are just um, Crayola super tips these are some uh, Mozart Mixtio alcohol ink markers and um, these are my um, parallel gliders one of those I bought like I saved they're kind of pricey and so I saved up for it and it was like I mean, it was like $20, and so it was something that, like, I didn't want to just drop it on, the, you know, a tool because, but I wanted one because um, you can, you know, use them to make parallel lines for calligraphy guidelines, things like that. So, I really wanted one, so I waited, and I found one, and I bought it, and I was so disappointed in it. It was this one, and because it's got these little, like, tire things on it, it doesn't, it doesn't roll straight, and that's the whole point of them, so... Anyway, I was disappointed. I didn't really use it. But then these other two, I have both found at thrift stores. And I think I paid $1.99 for one. And I think the other one was maybe $2.99. So, anyway, back behind that, there's just some other various markers. Um, sorry, Mr. Brown here. Oh, and I want to show you here. This giant, looks like a giant roll of toilet paper. I'm tearing you off. Um, this is this really industrial paper towel. And you can use it. Sorry, you can use it over and over and over, and I use it for um, cleaning. I use it tons of times for uh, just cleaning my calligraphy nibs. Um, it's an ink rag, basically. And I buy these by the pound at a little store around here called UGO or uh, United Grocery Outlet. And they're awesome. Like, they don't always have this exact kind. And sorry, it's kind of dusty. It kind of comes that way because <laughs> it's kind of a warehouse sort of place. But, um, 
they're awesome and it's it's not expensive I mean like that giant roll I want to say was maybe maybe $14, $15 but it lasts forever and I will use a like a, it's it's not like a one and done thing like I will use one for a calligraphy rag like you can see here I've been using some as an ink rag but I use that forever and ever and ever until it's just so full of ink that I throw it away so anyway uh, moving on here's another more of my pens let's see I've got um, these are like some jelly rolls these are the art line sticks these are um, just the regular Crayolas uh, I have some Crayola gels in there and then these are my Eagle on liquid water or Eagle on watercolor pens um, this is a little crate full of these are boxes that I use to cart color free pens anywhere that I'm going to take them they're just jewelry boxes but um, they're really perfect for calligraphy pens, and anytime I've ordered a calligraphy pen, that's what it's come in. Um, this is my pen cushion that I made out of a little baking tin. Uh, these are um, stamp blocks sequins, and this is for my letter boards, and these are just some cards that I have uh, waiting to send to people that I've made. And, sorry, let's stick this back up here. Okay. This is where I keep all of my paper stuff for calligraphy. There's just some different pads in here and I'm, I need to order more of my calligraphy paper. I'm down to like that on it and that goes really fast. So I've been filming all day in my Skillshare classes and I go through quite a bit of paper in that. So just some different mediums. This is all cardstock right here. Um, these my awesome father-in-law made. These are dinky dip holders and I showed him a picture and asked him if he could make me some. And, that was at church and he came back to church like that evening with them so he's he's in like i said he's an awesome woodworker he made our bookshelf and he's made tons of other stuff that we have in our house so um this is just some various little tchotchkes that i have you know thrown in jars um let's see this i'm no sweet tea um this is my walnut ink jar that i need to refill it looks gross because it's just got walnut ink in the bottom and so I need to mix some more and I laid it out so I won't forget. Um, this right here, I'm going to move back so you can see. This is another ratty chair that really needs to be redone so I'm YouTube shaming myself so I'll do it but this has been such a sturdy awesome comfortable chair and 90% of the time when I'm in my craft room this is where I'm sitting is right here at this little pull out side table um, doing my calligraphy and this is a Crayola light pad um that i got like brand new they're like 24 dollars and um, but i got this under the thrift store for um i want to say 3.99 or 4.99 and i actually have another one over there but this one um is in a little bit better shape so i use it more often um but you know light pads can be super expensive and i like this one because the paper like sits down in it i've had them that are just like without a, an edge around them and i don't like them i feel like i can't keep my paper on them and it tends to excuse me it tends to move so anyway um this is um where i generally sit to do my calligraphy and i'm using walnut ink 99 percent of the time um these are just some random pens screwdrivers exacto knives and this these are my calligraphy pens and um most of the pens in this bucket were under three dollars i mean for real uh, and that's the only way that i have so many is because i have been just a really blessed and smart shopper with this stuff so um i am wanting to do a class coming up hopefully soon on doing calligraphy on a budget and um, I'm going to go a little more in depth into where I got all this stuff and so this is my apple pencil that's the high dollar thing and there's the apple pencil um, and um, let me move my trash in right here put in these drawers here this drawer has got um, a, a this is the Weird Memory Keepers party punch board or the party board, DIY party board, and it doesn't fit in my shelf, so it stays in here. And there's just some other things like my um, silicone mats and some gold leafing stuff, um, some cutting um, paper cutters, just some things like that. And then down here, these are some kind of bigger punches. And then down here are some of the smaller punches. 
probably 80% of these were either given to me or I got them at the thrift store. Um, I don't buy new punches very often. If I do, it's it's always on clearance with a coupon. So under here, um, this is my good old Stanley um, laser level that I use to do straight lines on calligraphy when I'm not um, using something like this. Um, and these are just, this is where I keep my nibs. Um, these are new nibs and these are new nibs, but they tend to be nibs that I have in um, multiples of. And um, I got these at Harbor Freight. I think they were like $1.99 a piece. There is nothing better for keeping your nibs organized. These are just magnetic bowls. Um, let's see, this is um, distilled water for making clear ink with. This is um, just some cards and stuff down there. I have some more jewelry stuff down here. There's like some metal stamps and stuff. Um, these are embossing folders. This is embossing powder, and I've also got, I don't know if you can see in the top there, I've got some, um, like, paper crimpers in there. And then that is my um, We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Big Bite. And let me pull it out. Back here, I have got two of these, and this is something else my awesome father-in-law made me. Um, these are drying racks for um, cards or place cards or envelopes. Um, and I asked him, I showed him again, I showed him a picture, and I asked him if he could make me some, and he did. Um, he made me one. He made me this one and brought it back to church like the same day, and I said, that's amazing. Can you make one that's also shallower from, for I'm doing, when I'm doing like place cards, and I don't have very deep space to dry, and so he came back with that one. So, he's awesome. But back there, I don't know if you can see, uh, but back there is another one of those big like Crayola things, uh, the big bag like I had my vinyl in and that one has got um, some beading stuff in it and then this big pink tote back there it's just got some crafting stuff that I don't use as often but still needs to to be kind of close at hand I don't even want to show you this drawer but I'm going to um <laughs> this is sorry this is so full of just randomness um but for the most part I know what's in here it's stuff that I kind of need to have close at hand um over here is another pull out tray I use that one a lot of times too. Um, I don't do clear on as much because it puts a shadow on it, you can see. Um, so let's see, here's just some little magnetic bins that I've got some different tchotchkes in. And this is my ink drawer. And um, there's a lot in there, I know. Um, most of these Dr. P.H. Martin's inks, you can see I've gotten on clearance. Um, and then it's just something that I, these are things that I've collected over two years time. A good portion of them are stuff that I bought on clearance. Some of them were gifts. Uh, my awesome friend Amy bought me some of these alcohol inks for my birthday and I did a, um, a video on doing some stuff with those. These little inks are 79 cents a piece on eBay, which eBay is just your friend if you're trying to do calligraphy on a budget. Um, these are some dinky dips that I haven't filled up yet. So, oh, this is a heavy drawer. And then down here, these are the really big paper punches. Um, and I've got just some different systems and border systems and stuff in there. Okay, so I'm gonna back up because this is like the shining achievement of my craft room is this um, pegboard. I love this so much and this was such a blessing. This is something that again has been on my Pinterest board forever. I talked about it on the craft room or on my blog that I wanted to have a pegboard. So this pegboard, not the frame, but the pegboard itself was free. And there was this amazing man at our church who, um, I don't know what his job was, but he worked at a, a place that they had just like tons of this stuff that they were just trashing. And so he brought um, several sheets of it in um, for us to use to craft some of our vacation Bible school cutouts with. And that was awesome. And he was like, hey, do you guys want any more? There's tons of it. So he brought some in and we were like, heck yeah. So. Nick brought, this was one of the pieces, like this was the size of it. So I think it's four foot by five foot, if I'm not mistaken. But Nick brought it home and painted it this beautiful color. And uh, then he went and bought just trim from Lowe's and painted the trim. And his dad kind of helped him put it together. So that was a, a project they did in love for me. And underneath is my, my blue desk. And that's the other crowning achievement of my craft room. And guys, this was the first real piece of craft furniture that I had. Um, this desk came 
and um, from my my brother and sister-in-law Carrie and Rachel and when they bought their house it was in their basement and it was not this beautiful blue color it was like it was a tan color it was this color and um, it was it's huge and, and heavy and Carrie said I don't want it in the basement you can have it I want to get rid of it so he sent it home with us and Nick brought it home and put it in the garage and that was at the old house and it sat in the garage for a very long time and was Nick's desk out there but he kind of always said I'd like to get it painted for you and it to be your craft room desk so when I had a craft room and um, that's what we did he actually painted it himself and I love it like one of my children so um, I'm gonna show you I'm showing you what's in the desk I'm gonna look, take a look at the um, pegboard now um, this right here is another picture of my beautiful nanny when she was about 16 or 17 and she is just um, she's my heart she's been gone for a long time now and um, she passed when I was 17 and I'm 41 so she's been gone for um, 24 years now so um, I miss her a lot and um, it just it makes me happy to have her here and um, in the craft room with me and so anyway here's another um, basket another um, dishwasher basket I think I got that one at the thrift, the thrift store it's my favorite because it's blue um, but it's got some paint pens and um, glitter markers and some sharpies and stuff in it and then this honey we're the big door prize that was a piece that I did for my husband for our anniversary one year um, this up here this be still is uh, one that I did and the little cactus uh, embellishment there and um, a friend on Instagram um, Arlene Amanhundra, I think, uh, sent it to me, and it was so cute. And then this, the I'm an Outlander freak, and I won these beautiful Outlander vows. I think they were by Heaven Sent Lettering, or Heavenly Lettering, I need to look. But um, that was a, like the first thing that I ever won on Instagram, and I loved it so much. So, um, and then my little sign there is just, was clearance to Hobby Lobby. This is some wire for my happy jig. Um, these are my, um, I don't know if you can see down in there, but those are um, wax seal stamps. And um, this is my little Claire Fraser because I am an Outlander freak. I've got tape there and this little dreams come true. That was I think a Target dollar bin find. I've got just some more tape there. Uh, there's a felt flower I made, my tape measure. These are some acrylic paints. Uh, let's see what's in here. This is just just some random stuff. Um, these are my wax seal sticks, like wax sticks. Uh, there's some gouache and some watercolor paints and some more watercolor paints. Um, these are all of my pliers. These are mostly jewelry pliers. Um, there's just some little mini embellishments there. My washi tape goes in these little black bins. Um, the little canvas is just one that I made. I've got my crocodile kind of stuff up here. There's a crocodile and there's a leather punch. Just some different, um, I think there's a, a, a snap setter back there. Um, these uh, are just doilies and embroidery hoops and I thought those were fun. And then I bought these little wooden spools, I think from Hobby Lobby. I mean, they were cheap and just like wrapped scrap of paper around them and um, threaded them on Baker's Twine and I think they're really cute. Um, this little, my happy place, I don't know if you can see it there that little um, tag up there I made with my fuse tools, one of the first things I made. And let's see, this um, I made from We Are Memory Keepers Honeycomb paper. Um, there's some other crocodile tools, um, some push pins, and I've got some room to grow in these little bins. I'm looking for more stuff to put in there. Um, these are where my scissors go. This is my uh, We Are Memory Keepers journaling tool. It's a little perforating tool. Um, a little, um, oh my goodness, a little word board, uh, a, look at these little, uh, little succulents up there. I got those at Tuesday morning and they're so cute and they don't come off the thing so they're just sitting up there as they are. And then a the little feather I think was a clearance find somewhere. Um, to the, let me back up again. The Happy Day Banner, uh, was one that I made using the We Are Memory Keepers Alphabet Punch Board. And just cardstock. It actually was originally a happy birthday banner, and uh, then I 
uh, took the birth off of it and just made it a happy day banner when we were done with it. And I also have this one here, I don't know if you can see it with the light behind it, but this one just says create. Also made with the We Are Memory Keepers off of the punch board and that one I also made using um, the banner punch board. Okay, so moving on, we have this desk. And this desk was one of the ones that we found, one of the ones that we got when we got my cutting table. So we went and we came home with five desks and a kitchen table. We came home with a white desk, which wasn't white on top, my husband Nick painted it. And then we came home with this, which was not this cool shade of green, he painted that also. We came home with another tanker desk, which that's what these metal ones are. We came home with a, another tanker desk that sits in his garage and it looks like a tank that went through World War II. It's the coolest thing ever and we just left it as is and it's his desk out there. We came home with a third tanker desk that looked a lot like this one. Uh, it was a little more um, elegant, maybe delicate, um, but we painted it and um, it's beautiful coral color. In fact, I think it was the same color as the frame on my pegboard. But we painted that and gave it to his sister Rachel for her birthday because my desk came from there. And like after it was painted in the craft room, she's like, oh, it's so pretty. And like, I think she was like, I wish I had it for my craft room again. So we did that other one um, and gave it to her for her birthday. And it sits in her craft room now and she really loves it. But um, underneath that bag down there is um, paracord stuff, which it's gonna go to camp with us. I need to get it out. And then, this big pink thing has got just some um, random, like all my glues are in the top of it and then like glitter is in one of them. There's just some like random crafting stuff in there. Um, I don't use glitter ever unless it's Christmas time and I'm making glitter ornaments. So it pretty much stays in there year round unless it's time for Christmas. And those two art bins on top, those are all of my um, like thin cutting dies, like like thin metal cutting dies, like thinlets or sizzlets. Um, they're all in there and those have almost all been given to me. Um, I had an amazing um, situation where this lady came to our church and was de-stashing all of her craft stuff and she was like, you know, just do whatever you want with it, you know, and you can have it or you can throw it away. So um, some that I passed on to other people and some that I kept and so I was really excited about that. Down beside the pink prayer, um, storage unit is my um, Martha Stewart scoreboard, and I use that all the time. And then you can't really see it, but back behind that, there's like a giant, like prehistoric, um, like guillotine cutting um, thing that I wanna say was within that stuff. And then there's also a printer back there that is out of ink, so we need to replace the ink on it. But um, in here, let's see, I don't keep much in here. Uh, this is my kids' spare glasses, they're Scout stuff. And this, because if you shut this too far, you can't get it out. So I use this to hook it and get it out if I shut it too far, um, which has never happened ever, I promise. Um, oh, but here is my, my power strip sits there with my phone or iPad charger and my glue gun sits there when it's not in the bag. Um, we go over what's on top first. Um, this has mostly just been thrifted stuff. Like this was thrifted and this has got all different paper clips, like fun shapes and colors and stuff. And I use those a lot of times for staging calligraphy. These are the colored pencils that my kids use and it's they're in this really cute little box that my son totally filled with water the other day. And fortunately I found him filling it with water before it soaked through. So we poured it out and it was fine. Um, this container back here was a thrift store thing and this has got all of my cam snap stuff and my pliers are in the bottom of it. This is just some various paints. I don't do a whole lot of painting, um, so I don't have a, a massive selection, but I do have some more over here. But mostly I use that for, um, I have an Etsy shop and I do um, hand painted pillow covers and so that's the paint I use for that. And here's my little handy um, hand shredder that I use to shred stuff that needs to be done. Uh, this is all my watercolor stuff, excuse me, watercolor stuff. I'm not a huge watercolor person. I would like to be, I'm just not very good at it yet. So it's kind of out of my comfort zone. So um, there it is. And when I 
you know, get brave enough, that's that's what I do, is I get it from there. Some Mod Podge or some Prismacolor, um, also a thrift store find, it was brand new. Um, this yellow caddy full of just randomness was a thrift store find, and the paint container rack was a thrift store find also. That was, I was pretty excited about that because I did have some little bottles um, that, you know, there's not a good storage space for, so that was perfect. Um, let's see, this space is where I do most of my YouTube filming, most of my craft filming, and today I have been filming um, some videos for my Skillshare classes. I have um, teach calligraphy classes on Skillshare and um, it's uh, there this series is called the magical magic school series and it goes over flourishing some capital letters so if you're on skillshare check it out there's i think i've got 21 22 classes on there now something like that and there's more going to be uploaded so um going back to this stuff um this let's do this thing which maybe needs to be like ironed out a little bit if you can iron plastic i don't know i'll probably melt it but um and i'm looking and there's masking tape stuck to the wall but I'll get that later. Anyway that was like a bargain hunt find for like 10 cents. Um, the cool citrus thing my daughter Lily did that. Um, this I won from on Instagram it was done by Dana of um, I think Apple Strudel Designs. Oh, I love this so much it's at Northern Lights. Um, that's just my calligraphy. This heart thing was a random bargain hunt find for like 10 cents. This Create Beauty uh, was one that I made um, and I've got a semi tutorial on the blog. It's not really a tutorial because I followed somebody else's tutorial but I'll link back to them. And then my husband's cousin Adrian I think got me this. It was Adrian, yes. My cousin Adrian or his cousin Adrian got me this for Christmas one year so I've got it filled full of some mink stuff. Um, and then down here it's just some other randomness. This is a Siron. It's out because it's got to go to camp with me. And this um, this is one of my favorite little tools. This is, if I can get it out without spilling stuff everywhere. This is a pick punch. And it makes guitar picks. Like, punches them out. And you can punch them out of, um, like, you can, it comes with this stuff that you can punch out. That's basically like credit card material. So, you can punch them out of credit cards or gift cards. So, I save gift cards from everywhere and I usually take that to camp with me too because we always have you know music and stuff like that and there's always tons of kids who are like I want to make guitar picks so that's a cheap and easy fun little thing for them to do these are some gold flowers that I have not yet rolled and just some just some little randomness um art on the walls okay first of all this is one of my favorite things this is by my friend Laura Piper. She is um, just an amazing, amazing, amazing artist. Like, I don't think she realizes how amazing she is. But this is one of the things that she did, and I saw it on her Instagram and fell in love with it. So she sent me this, and she also sent me one to put in Lily's room that is um, one of the Disney princesses as well. And then she sent me one that is Sully from um, Monsters, Inc. to put in Sawyer's room. So we were so stoked to get those. So this painting set right here, um, it was um, fun and cheesy, and it's not the same colors as my craft room, but my husband and I did this for our anniversary. I want to say our 16th anniversary, and um, it was such a fun activity together, and so um, it makes me smile to see them up there, so I want to go back and do that again. I'd love to go do it every year. How cool would that be to have like, a house full of paintings from your anniversary? But the first side with the uh, big unwieldy tree, that was me, and the second side with the cool little cabin, that's Nick. Um, he's a much better artist than I am. Um, this uh, was by Mindy of Pink, well, it used to be Pink Pineapple Art, but now it's Pink Pine Tree Art. And this is just a random, I was brand new at like even like seeing what watercolors were. So um, <laughs> that's my silly little rainbow thing that I did. Um, but I don't remember who those are by. Um, but I got it, I want to say at Ross's or something, but it's Mask Doll. So the Let Your Heart Shine, or Let Your Heart Sing, that was like, that was masked off. So you watercolor over and all the other stuff appears. And this was just some string art that I did. Um, with just like ink and string and that was fun. And come up here. This is just a random little uh, banner that I have. And let's see. This is random little clearance wall hanging that I have. Um, these are 
stamps and stamp pads, um, my paper cutter that this is like my old faithful. And I've got several paper cutters, but this is the one I use like all the time and it's it's honestly about to give up the ghost. Um, and, and they don't sell this model anymore, so I'm super sad about that. But um, oh, let me go back to the drawer. My battery's getting low, so I gotta hurry. Okay, so in here, oh, this is my heavy one. These are Sizzix dies, um, and these have been collected for a very long time. Most of these um, were like deep, deep discount purchases. A lot of them I got from Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning has them crazy cheap. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, this drawer is so heavy. And then, this is some of the longer dies that don't fit in there, and then like my cutting pads and stuff. And I've got a couple different little die cutters, and so that's some of the stuff for those. And then down here, these are the little, um, the little, I don't know what they're called. I don't know. I guess those are like, I guess they're thinlets, maybe? No, no, sizzlets. These are the sizzlets, sorry. And these have all been thrift store finds. You can see like $5.99 and like, but yeah, these were, these are all thrift store finds. So, um, and then over here, okay, first of all, this. Um, I need to find a better place for it. This is like felt, different kinds of felt. And in here, this beautiful professional storage container that absolutely didn't hold dishwasher packs. Um, this has got um, different, um, it's got some like glass stones in it, but it's also got these really cool teardrop tiles that I'm gonna do some lettering on eventually. But um, while I'm filming, like this is what I use, sorry, this is what I use to film my my YouTube stuff and my Skillshare stuff is this arm that I got, this camera holder and it bends and moves, but it kind of has to hook onto here, which is why I've not got my drawer shut all the way. Um, but I got it on Amazon and this is my husband's favorite part of this desk, is that this pulls out and, on, and pops up. And this is my uh, Sizzix Big Shop Plus, and we got that super cheap on Facebook Marketplace, I think. My mom bought me this little Artisan Explorer one time because we took, uh, went and got her mail and everything, fed the dog and everything while she was on vacation. And this is my um, Sizzix Big Shot. And I use that one probably more than the others just because this one is really big, but I have some dies that won't fit in that. And this will also do full sheets of felt. So you can generally do um, two, oh, sorry two sheets or two dies across that one so that's that's really handy for some stuff um okay so moving on um but about the stamps like mm, probably i want to say 95 percent of these were either given to me or i found them at thrift stores and so um i need to go through them and probably pare them down and pass some of them along i really do um and I need, to, and, and like some of my guys are drying up because I haven't used them enough, so if that tells you anything. Um, this, um, it's with the little paint swab on the bottom, this was a little kitchen rolling cart that I found on the curb. And it was in like, they had put it out to be taken away by the trash and it had, it started to rain. And so my husband was like, you're insane. But I brought it home and I love it because it's got, let's see, this is all of my, um, stuff for, this is some of the Creative Memories templates that I got in that big tote. Um, this is all of my stuff for my Heidi Swap meat machine and for my laminator. And those are in here. So I've got several different Zyron machines and those have all been thrift store finds with the exception of that green one, which was a gift. And then I've got a little Silhouette, or I'm sorry, a uh, well, I do have a silhouette machine back there. It's a silhouette machine I have that I have managed to bits its way back there, but I <laughs> that needs to be repaired. The cord and um, the cord port on it got broken, and it seems like it'd be an easy fix if you know how to do that, but I don't, so I'm waiting to find somebody who can repair it. So, this is a little laminator. This is my Heidi Swap Make machine. This is a little um, texture boutique Sizzix thing, and I found it at the thrift store. Um, this is my little sewing desk, and this poor little thing um, was in much better shape when my in-laws gave it to us because they 
got it for my daughter's room and she was a preteen at the time and was super into like doing her nails and not always super careful and so it needs to be refinished but eventually in this space instead of these things there's going to be a third tanker desk and that was the last tanker desk we ended up coming home with four tanker desks a wooden desk and then a kitchen table from that place all free so that's been such a blessing but it needs some work the other tanker desk does it needs um, something needs epoxy pour in the top it needs to be like it's got a little bit of rust in the top it's got stickers all over it so it's gonna be some work so anyway eventually that's gonna come here and I keep going back and forth on the color but I think that I have landed on what I'm gonna call Fisker's orange and that's I think the color I'm gonna go with so anyway in these containers right here this is, well, this is a Bodabra that someone gave me, and I've enjoyed playing with that. These boxes, this, 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 and this are all ribbon. Um, this is thread and stuff, and this was a uh, Walmart Christmas clearance find, but it was, I couldn't resist the polka dots in the blue. Um, this has got ribbon, and this has got my sewing needles and stuff in it. Um, this is sewing machine and my serger and then just some um like there's some more glass um stones they're just pretty in that vintage mason jar and there's just some sewing uh, stuff my light stuff for my photography is back there because that's where the kids won't break it um down here is a big tray a big metal tray that um i use for um crafting and doing like my glitter ornaments on and then this is a giant embroidery hoop that I got at the thrift store and I have such big plans for it. Um, up above, those three art pieces up above, those are also from Mindy from Pink Pine, or from Pink Pine Tree. Uh, and this is my other little pegboard that my husband made. And I asked him to make one smaller um, so it would fit over this area here. And so it's just got some little buckets from the Dollar Tree or from Target Dollars. Uh, usually, I think mostly they're from the Target Dollar spot. And just, um, I've got scrapbook, like, pattern scissors over here and just some little basic hole punches and I've got rubbery tools. These are my awesome, awesome scissors by uh, Kloss. My husband got me these at Lowe's of all places and they are the best scissors I've ever had for, like, sewing stuff. So get you some. Um, and then these are some shears and uh, just some random, like, embellishments there's a um, slash cutter uh, for um, cutting like um, faux chanel blankets and stuff which is a lot of fun so just some different stuff there and this art piece this is my husband there in the middle when he was a baby little little bitty boy and then two of his cousins on either side and um, or a cousin on either side and his aunt and um, did this watercolor of them when she was Let's see, it was back in 81, so he would have been two there, or not quite two, almost two. Um, so that's really special to me. And then my oldest daughter did the bird, and you can see I still have my March thing up because it's over here in the corner and I forget about it. I need to take it down because it's May. But here is the other big thing in my craft room. Lost a shoe, sorry. Is this amazing shelf, and I love this so much. My mom bought me this. For $25, actually she may have gotten it for like $19 because I think she had a coupon at a thrift store. Um, and it was this ugly, ugly, horrible gray. And it sat, like we brought it home. I was so excited about it. And I was like, it's gonna be perfect. We brought it home and I disassembled it and it sat right here in the craft room for like two years. Um, finally, I got my husband to paint it and we got almost all the way through painting it and we had like five or six pieces left. And we ran out of paint and we we're like oh no problem we'll go get more except we found out that color paint you could not find it anywhere anymore so finally after much searching and driving all over town we found a couple more cans of it and we're able to finish it up so um show some of the things here this uh, globe is one that i lettered on i got it through uh, i got it from tuesday morning these boxes i love they're just little wooden boxes they don't have anything in them right now when i bought them initially they had ink in them uh, but my ink collection outgrew them, and so they're just kind of decoration right now. Um, if I take pictures of cards or anything, it's usually sitting right here. Um, just some little tchotchkes and stuff. There's my So Happy Machine by We Are Memory Keepers, and I got that at Tuesday morning, uh, like on deep clearance. 
um, all the little whales back there that my friend Melissa crocheted for me. She's an amazing crochet artist. Um, and so on the shelf, the biggest thing that you'll see up here are my punch boards. And I am so excited to have a place to have these because like I said before they were in that purple bin over there beside my desk. So uh, I didn't use them as much as I should because they weren't easily accessible. I had to, it was awkward to get that out and like open it up. So here I use them all the dang time. Um, so um, there are some that I don't have. These are some Martha Stewart. This is a Martha Stewart pillow box thing. And I've also got the, I like this one better, the We Are Memory Keepers pillow box, but this one does some different sizes. And this is like a fringe cutter. And I made a really cool banner for my friend Amy's little girl's room. These are some thrift store chalkboards that I got. These are some other chalkboards that I've got. Um, buttons in here. And this is my happy jig. Uh, this is foil stuff for my um, Heidi Swap stuff. And this is the sewing kit for my So Happy. This is a stamping tool. And then there's just some different like little templates and like there's some fabric stuff, little doodle craft crate or doodle craft, doodle crate down here. I'm excited about it. I got it at a thrift store and it's a carve your own stamp set. And I have always wanted to do that. So I have not gotten into it yet, but I'm going to. And coming over this way, this is my poor beat up camera bag that needs like a good cleaning and probably replacing. This, um, let me set this down here. These are all like stamps that go on stamp blocks and they're kind of poorly organized through there and I need to do a better job with that. And then there's the dog's food and water. And then in here are, this is some of the stuff that the sweet lady at church gave me. But there's some stamps in here. There's just uh, some different different things that she had given me. This is not full, but this has got a lot of stamp stuff that she had done, a lot of um, card template stuff that she had come up with. And, oh, the other thing over here is zippers. Um, this is uh, like bias tape and, and piping, more of that. Um, and... Velcro mostly, elastic, I don't know if you can see anything down here, and more elastic, and serger thread, sorry, that was probably pointless, I don't know if you can see any of that, and then in here is just some random sewing stuff that did not fit anywhere else, so, and this little mirror I got, I want to say at Target for $5 in their $5 bin, and I did the lettering on it, and... I think that is about all of it. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, excuse my floor. I literally sweat before I started filming. And our sweet old dog, Lucy, is about 100 years old. And she is not able to... She's been like an indoor-outdoor dog her whole life. But she has gotten so old that she's not really able to take care of herself outside with our other dogs. And so she's inside all the time now. And as it's gotten hot, she started shedding like it's her job. And it's not, she needs to know that, it's not her job. But uh, she's showing up faithfully at work to do it every day. So anyway, here's my craft room. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's not been a crazy, boring video. My kids will enjoy it. They like to watch my YouTube channel. So anyway, um, that's what's going on. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and again, I just wanna praise God, glory to him for all of this. This is not anything I could have amassed on my own. I'm so grateful to have this and to have a space to work and to have the resources. So you guys help me out, help me to um, help me to make this blogging a success. I really want to move forward and to share the things that I've learned and the things that I know how to do. And I hope you guys have fun crafting along with me. So um, follow along as I'm on Instagram at Sawyer Ford Home. My blog is SawyerFordHome.com. If you're seeing this, obviously you're here on my YouTube channel, follow me there. I've got free cut files and stuff on my blog. If you will sign up for my newsletter, you get the free cut files and just some other stuff that I've got exclusive to my email customers, so, or email subscribers, not customers. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you guys uh, will continue to follow along.